there. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, excited to share something kind of novel with you. And that is using faux flowers, artificial flowers, fake flowers in window boxes. And I actually started this at my last house because for the last three years, I would plant real geraniums in my one window box. And then I would also put in faux geraniums. And by the end of most years, the faux geraniums looked gorgeous. And the real geraniums looked very peaked and awful. And so in this house, I realized I wanted four window boxes along the front of the house. You can't really see them there, not all of them. And four window boxes would be almost impossible to keep watered, not to mention the fact that we're going through yet another heat wave summer. They say global warming doesn't exist, but you guys were frying out here in Kansas. I don't know about you. Please let me know how you're doing in your part of the country, but it's not good here. But anyway, those little pots that you can see behind me, those two pots, those are actually real geraniums and I have to water them to the tune of about two gallons of water a day and it's hard to do. And it's kind of funny because in one of my last videos, kind of a snarky comment came in which was, you know, you bought this new classy house and you're going to use faux flowers, just cheapen it, you're going to cheapen your house with faux flowers. And I think you'll see in my video today that the faux flowers of today are not your grandma's faux flowers, not those plastic ones that look dusty and horrible and awful and you can use them in window boxes both faux flowers and faux evergreens okay i have one completed window box over there and it did rain so the top flowers are a little bit wilty the grass they'll come right back up though they do well in rain but here is the empty window box and basically i'll show you what i have in here now I have some garden soil, and I didn't use potting soil because that's lighter. I use garden soil because it's heavier and would hold down the flower forms. And these are from Flora Foam. Here they are, Flora Foam. And they are to be used inside or outside. And I really like this particular brand. It's at Hobby Lobby, a little bit expensive. I might be able to find it on Amazon. I'll link it if I can. But basically, I have the little foams in there, and I'll be taking some more garden soil and putting it in there. So I have garden soil from miracle Grow. There's my garden soil, and there are the flora foam pieces. And here are the flower pieces I will be using to make my window box. Okay, I'll be starting with this miracle Grow garden soil. And I'm using garden soil again because it's heavier than the potting soil. I just put that in there because I want to make the window box look as real as possible and of course real window boxes have dirt in them and I will say that at my last house I kind of discovered the artificial flowers accidentally because I had one window box in the front and I always did gorgeous geraniums in my window boxes but they got looking pretty puny in the heat of the summer there we go that's how that looks and so I started sticking little fake geraniums from Hobby Lobby just in with my reel. And that's a good tip if you're if you're anxious about using all artificial, I wouldn't do it. I would just start by inserting the artificial flowers in your real flowers and you'll you might be like me and kind of get to the point that artificial is great, no watering is great, and you'll never go back. Okay, now that I've done this, I'm going to put my back layer of thrillers, is what I call it. I think I've heard that on the internet. And that is these monkey grasses, these white monkey grasses. And I think they're like allium of the allium family, which is like um, an onion, kind of a floral, floral onion. And you try to get down into the floral foam instead of the dirt, although you can do the dirt too. So there we go. I'm going to start by putting one in the middle and you get them like this and you just spread them out. Let's see, there looks like the middle right there. And that looks like the front. It's kind of hard to tell. those down in there. Maybe this one should go a little lower. I think so. I'll take another one and just kind of fluff it. And you can do this with a blow dryer by spraying them with a little water and then blow drying, fluffing them that way, but I don't find it's really necessary. There we go. Those are the whites on the front. They look a little better. I'll fluff this little guy. We'll go down here to the very end put him in there. You can hear him going into the floral foam. That stuff is pretty hardy and it lasts for years. And really my experience with artificials 
with my geraniums was that they lasted for like three years and they still looked great. Sometimes, as you'll read, if you go to Amazon and look for flowers, some flowers will fade. And so you kind of have to choose your flowers carefully. That's why I did white flowers back here. They're neutral and if they fade, you know, who cares? They look great. Okay, then you want a second layer of fill-in green. And here it is. These are actually little boxwood, fake boxwoods. And you would not really necessarily see a boxwood plant in a window box, unless it were Europe. They do a lot of evergreens and window boxes in Europe. But I needed something, I didn't want to just do all flowers because that does look fake. So I just start inserting the boxwood plants, just kind of fluffing them out. Kind of put them in here anywhere, kind of between the big plants probably. Do a little fluffing here. Good, I have a few more down there. For every foot of planter box, I use one of the thrillers back there. And then the rest of them are just kind of guessing. I think the geraniums, I ordered one per foot. I think that's what I did too, on the geraniums. Let me get a few more green fillers. Okay, I happen to have four more here. I think I actually have more in the garage. I put one on the end there. there. You can kind of put them at an angle to kind of give a little depth to the window box. Okay, boxwood in. Next I'll be using some of these little white flowers and I don't know what they are, but they really look very similar to the white flowers that are in my pots that are real. Um, they're little white, I don't know, little white kind of buds. This is how they come from Amazon. And this is a whole bunch of them. Let's see, how many is this? 20 bundles, 20 bundles like this. And they're very reasonable. And again, these shouldn't fade because they're white and they should last. So you start sticking those in. Sticking them kind of low. They really fill in nicely. Another one here. I kind of fluff them out. And it's nice that some of them hang a little bit. I tried some hanging plants. I usually do petunias, which hang off like those, those trailing petunias. And I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to find them on Amazon. I found some succulents and they didn't look very good. They just kind of looked plastic. <laughs> so you do have to experiment and you really have to order several different plants to see what looks the most real to you. Like on these boxwoods, I ordered them from two different companies and amazingly enough, these boxwoods were a lot cheaper than the other boxwoods and they were better. Okay, and this is how they come out of the box. I'll go ahead and get a few of those out. So these are pretty easy. You just take off the little protective covers. There we go. They're two to a sleeve, I guess. That's nice. Here we go, take this off. Oh, and this is my trusty, my trusty huge visor, which I'm never without when I'm outside pretty much. My kids are embarrassed by me. <laughs> because I don't care that it's not fashionable. I just want to keep the sun off my face. Here we go. Now it looks like we need something here, but we're gonna put a geranium there, so we'll be okay. Now, these are the main event. 
And the last thing, which is these beautiful geraniums. And I actually ordered these from Timu, which I wouldn't advise because it took a long time to get them because it's like ordering right from China. But here's one. And they just come out and you just fluff them out. And if you're going to use these in the house, I really would spritz them with a little water and blow dry them. But here outside, we're gonna get a lot of steam. They're gonna be fine. So there's one, one geranium, and I'll put one in the middle. I think I'm gonna have excess geraniums here. But again, I wouldn't order from Timu, but I'll link some real similar ones from Amazon that are highly rated. Also, Hobby Lobby has really good geraniums, but they don't have this pink color this year, which made me sad because I got a gorgeous hot pink set of geraniums three years ago from Hobby Lobby, and I used them for like three years, and they were great. They grew. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, it's so exciting. Now I'll take this off, my little sleeve of three here. Oh, this makes me so happy. And even keeping that one window box uh, watered at the last house, that was a chore. I mean, in this hot Kansas weather, that is increasingly becoming baking Kansas weather with this climate change we don't have. It's frustrating to try to keep a window box really watered. Oops, I lost the dream head. Oh well, you can stick them back on, but I have so many it doesn't really need it. Let's see if I can get this in here. Maybe I'll do one more over there. Just one more, fluff it all up. That may be too many geraniums, I don't know. What do you think, honey? Does that look like too many? Perfect. Well, there is that flower box, and I may tweak it a little bit. And I will tell you, on the sides of the flower box, I don't have any more of my boxwoods out here. But I love those because if the side looks a little bare, you just add a little boxwood there and there and you really can't tell, it's wonderful. Okay, now let me show you another thing I've been doing, which is truly great too, I think. Okay, these are actually totally fake evergreen trees. I bought these planters from Amazon and I will go ahead and link them below. But look at that, that is a four foot tall, I think it's a juniper. I think this is actually kind of an imitation of a Taylor juniper. And up close and personal, you can see they're plastic, but you really can't tell even from a few feet. They look so real. And I've used garden soil in there. There are two of them. Now I've left one of them kind of askew, and I've got the box here to show you everything I did to make these beautiful shrubberies happen. Okay, let me go ahead and show you how I did this. And Alan's gonna come in here a little bit so that, so that you can see this. Basically, I have a trash sack in here filled with packing peanuts, yes the white packing peanuts, there they are. And then I'm starting to put the foam around to, to stabilize the little tree. And I had to choose, this is my third tree, and this is the good one, and it's reasonable, and it looks good. The last two were skimpy and did not look good. Do I have dirt on my face or am I okay? Okay, then we'll take this and use this, this foam to stabilize, to stabilize the pot. You know, that's not going low enough. It was Alan to the rescue. He just smushed it down in there a little bit more. And you want this down because you're gonna pour dirt on the top. I don't think we really need anything back here, but maybe I should put something. So I'll just take a piece of this foam and just kind of break it with my knee. Because this foam is going to help this tree stay upright. Okay, now we cut the bag kind of in two and we're just stuffing it in on top of the, the green foam. Kind of cover it up because if the, uh, dirt comes up. We don't want the green foam to show. That would definitely make it look fake. And you just kind of put it around here like a Christmas tree is what Alan said. Just kind of stuff it down in there. Doesn't matter if you have too much. I wish I didn't have that, the, red, uh, the red handle thing there. But anyway, okay, there we go. Ah! I dropped my, dropped my scissors. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, great. So now that you have it safely in its pot, you take this all-purpose potting soil. Actually, this is garden soil because, again, it is heavier. You just pour that in there, and they need a little more than this. It's hot. I 
like a little more. You want it in there kind of kind of tight. Have a little divot back here. And these little trees do great in the rain, at least according to the reviews. This is my first time I've planted the evergreens. So that's how that looks. And to give it even a little bit more of a real look, you can go in and either put a few plants around the base, some big plants, or you can just put in some rocks. Okay, that is a look at my very low maintenance window boxes, evergreens and flowers. And amazingly enough, people are starting to use faux flowers in the garden landscape. And in September, we will be having the front landscape here reworked. And I plan to use some, some faux flowers in actually in the dirt, in the landscape. And if you'd like to see that, please let me know in the comment section. I have never done that before, but it should be interesting. And thank you so much for following along with me as I get my house redone. And I'll definitely be going back to the beauty, meaning the mature beauty, which is what my channel really is. But it is kind of interesting to share personal details about my life with you. And thank you for being here today. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.